near current. So <laughs> this is really a, a more um, a far-reaching lecture than I think some of you are going to think. <laughs> I don't, I don't think everybody even sees this yet or doesn't understand what's going on and I keep trying to explain it, keep trying to explain it. So I hope today I've kind of brought it together so you, you can see all these influences coming up to basically boost ego too much, right, in the end. Um, and that's really the opposite of fantastic for organic portal women. And you see their, their disgruntled looks they're disgruntled <laughs> you know what I mean like they're super disgruntled <coughs> when you've just given them a fucking compliment <laughs> like what the fuck <coughs> that also tells you you're dealing with an organic portal remember because they're very illogical <coughs> um, and in this case the there's also old-school reasoning right from where we came from which is their organic portal world, we're the ones always changing the world, us spirited humans, so we've come from their past always, right, and you've, you've had the hemlines rising and falling to the beat of, you know, the time wave zero of ancient civilizations long ago. But my point is, um, we've still got a lot of them in old programming, the organic portal girls of, like, um, you know, uh, to, like, protect the body this isn't like this organic portal state um i mean it's one thing to mention infection and stuff and i get it we're trying to stave off infection and purity is its own reward and all that but consider what i said earlier right it all starts at the root chakra and consider everything else i said <laughs> as well because it all uh comes together <laughs> Uh, I just think it's not going to stop for a while. Um, obviously, there are some spiritual... You know, even Teal Swan recently said in, a, in one of her videos, she was like saying exactly this about women getting like offended at compliments. And I can't remember, she'd done a little short on it. And so that just told me that, okay, at least some of the women can see what the other women are doing. And, you know, as far as I'm concerned, the men can't really control the women because we can't beat them, right? I can't beat them. Two men can fight it out if they don't agree, logically. And you can't do that with a woman. Um, so that's an uber-empowerment. Do you see what I mean? That It's like an, they've got an over-empowerment that I don't even have. She can hit me. I mean, yeah, I can go to the cops and all that, but... I think you all understand that this general philosophy, right? It's like there's less stopping them in that way. Um, and then there's the whole emotional thing of how, you know, a lot of women um, seem to, what, attach to their emotions more. I mean, it's well known, you know, women are more emotional and men are more logical. But I'm just trying to think of how else to say it, like how else to word it. It's more like... Um, they're more attached to the emotions. They're more in the cycles. It's very difficult for women to get out of the cycles. Remember, they're having monthly cycles of bleeding and all that. Um, <clears throat> and what is this world? This world is all made of circles and cycles. Secondary feminine matrix. I mean, there's, there's many connections. you just got to start thinking about this stuff. I'm trying to now meditate, and it's very distracting to look at myself on the screen and talk to you guys and have these thoughts but um, I'm trying <laughs> anyway the